episode 182 and today I thought we have we'll take two chocolates on the opposite side of the price spectrum uh, you got um, a French made Danish chocolate 80% uh, cocoa so it's a lot of cocoa called Superior uh, sold by the Danish supermarket uh, incorporated uh, but made by Deepa uh, Sass in France. It doesn't say where the beans come from. And it is cocoa mass, sugar, cocoa butter, fat, fat reduced cocoa powder, and vanilla aroma. Uh, and that's, yeah, 80% cocoa, not bad. And then we got Madakas. Uh, Madakas, 80% cocoa, uh, bean to bar. Of Madagascar. Madagascar is a Madagascarian company. Uh, it is situated in, in Madagascar. They make the chocolate there, they grow the beans there. So this is, uh, they say themselves, this is four times the impact of fair trade cocoa. Since they grow it, they manufacture, uh, they produce and they sell. So that's four times the fair trade. So Okay, 80% is this one as well, and this is, uh, usually it says what kind of beans, but nope, doesn't say here, cream, cream cocoa. So, and this is about $1.50, and this is about $10. So, let's try it. I start with the cheap one, right? Eighty percent—that's not bad for a, a low-price brand chocolate. Because keeping the cost down, you should don't use cocoa mass or cocoa butter. You should palm oil or other vegetable uh, fats or. You won't use uh, sugar, you take corn syrup instead and things like that. Uh, horrendous pr process, but this is fairly good. Uh, very dark, very dark brown with bordering on black uh, on the chocolate. The, the appearance. Uh, let's smell it. Paper dry, bone dry, wooden dry. You got some uh, cinnamon and some white pepper on the nose, actually. Also, that cedar box dark chocolate character. Uh, <coughs> sorry, a tiny hint of tobacco as well. Nice neutral uh, dark chocolate nose. Nothing wrong with that. Let's try it. Kind of neutral taste. Uh, that normal bitter and bitter and tart uh, sensation for chocolate. It's there, but it, it's not overpowering. There's some dirt components as well as well. Some tobacco. Some coffee. little bit concerned about the fat, it feels kind of strange, but still, dark chocolate, no problem. Getting drier and drier, as more as, the, as it disappears, the back end is, you've got some black tea components on the back end of this chocolate. Not at all bad for $1.50. That's 
quite good. I, I'm going to give this 5 out of 10. That's actually astonishingly high for a low price brand, uh, none known whatsoever chocolate. But ha has a nice chocolate structure. And the ingredients list was, was not that bad. So uh, let's take out the Madagas 80% Madagascar chocolate. Nice packaging. And this one is also 80% cocoa. Also very 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 dark brown, but this one has more a red tint than the other one. See, this one is more kind of black than this one. This when I compare them like this, I have to get me a better camera if I want to show you every trace of color. Uh, Let's smell it. Just as the other one, uh, this is a, a dry uh, sensation on the nose, very dry. But this has some, uh, it, has, it has that dry, uh, dark chocolate uh, smell, uh, like a wooden filings, like paper, like things like that. But this, I would say this is not this is not a cedar box character. This is more like a mahogany box character. There's an uh, acidic note to it as well. You get some green acidic note, and also there's some herbs or spices. More more like herbs actually. And a, a pinch of salt as well on the nose. So let's try it. The initial flavor is just a tiny bit of bitterness, and 10 seconds in, you got. Bam! A tack of acidity. You got orange skin. You got red currant. You got some the skin of a gooseberry. Also some lingonberry tartness. And that acidity is increasing, turning into white pepper, turning into lemon zest. And in the background you've got a, a dark, dark, dark chocolate coffee uh, flavor all the time. And actually towards the end here you got some sugar coming up, uh, complementing the acidity, making it almost like a lemon lime lemonade not that sweet but if, if you get the gist very dry sandy dry and this acidic feeling is with you all the way up to the second before the ending then it drops off and you got that dry cocoa powder uh, stuff left in your mouth, at least the flavor of it. That's a roller coaster of a chocolate and it is really good, I like it. I'm going to give it 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10 for that one, uh, and 5 out of 10 for the cheap $1.50 for the $10. Uh, you pick, 
I can eat them both. And uh, let's see you next Monday. Bye.